Today I'm going to visit the biggest football stadium in Scandinavia. Ticking off new grounds and countries is my passion. But today it is time to find out what Sweden, but more specifically Stockholm, has to offer. The city looks special and unique, but what are the football fans like in this part of the world? If you are new, hit that subscribe button and smash 1,000 likes for another football video in Sweden. Stockholm is calling my name, so let's grab the passport and see what's about. Welcome to Stockholm, the capital city of Sweden. If we're going to visit the biggest football stadium in this country, we may as well visit the second biggest ground in this city. But before we do that, we need to check out what this city has to offer. It looks stunning. I will have you know straight away that this is the parliament building. Look at this little square here. Looks decent, we'll carry on. We're not a tourist guide here. I'll tell you one thing this city does love. It's their bridges. They've got more than 50 of them. Maybe I am a tourist guide. And look what we have here, we've got the palace here, and if I take you, oh, we have the cathedral. Maybe my content's got to change from football to tourism, because I'm showing you everywhere. So there's a castle, there's parliament, and then there's the palace. There is so much around here, and this is the old town, by the way. This is getting beyond a joke now. Views around here are crazy. There's so many bridges, obviously there's a lot of sea around here, always surrounded with a brilliant view. If we talk about the football for a minute, it's AIK versus Hacken. It's third in the table versus third bottom in the table. There's only one winner in this, right? But AIK, they're known for having a good kit, and also known for having good fans. You know me, I love ticking off new football stadiums, and this one is the pinnacle of it, the biggest in Scandinavia. A new country, a new city, a new culture of football fans as well. I can't wait for this. I'm sorry, but just take a look at this. It's literally 9pm at night. Would you afford that? Because I don't. I would definitely not think that this is 9pm at night. Blue skies like it's 12 in the afternoon. But what a city. I've been standing here for over an hour now and it's sensational. But you know the objective. Tomorrow, AIK versus Hacken at the biggest football stadium in Scandinavia. I will see you tomorrow. It's time to get some sleep. Do not forget, we're also visiting the second biggest stadium in this city as well. Now I'm getting some sleep. Good morning, it is match day. Let's start off this morning right. I feel like I've left everything last minute today. AIK versus Hacking, but first of all, we need to see the second biggest stadium in this city. Wow, and here we are then, the Tele2 Arena. This holds 33,000 fans, it hosts two teams, and just look at it, it looks fantastic. Not only is it the second biggest stadium in this city, it's also the fifth biggest stadium in Scandinavia. But I need to have a look around this stadium because this looks phenomenal. There is literally a restaurant and a hotel in it. There's also a shopping centre over there. This is more than just a football stadium, it has absolutely everything. Not only is it a football stadium, Rome has also donated a Colosseum to them. And you're telling me that the stadium I'm visiting later is better than this one. In terms of how stadiums goes, this one is absolutely up there. I wish I could actually watch a game, but that's for AIK later at a friend's arena. I've only just realised as well that Elton John is performing there tonight. I was wondering why my flight was full of people who are going to be watching music and concerts. I know there was going on. I thought I was going through Stratford for a minute. But no fear, it does say more of Scandinavia. Like, I don't really know where I'm going. But when you visit new stadiums, you don't know where you are. The best thing to do is just follow the crowds, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Hopefully we're not all going for lunch or something together, because there's a lot of us. But as far as shopping centres goes, this is up there. I think I've fallen in love with this place. Look at this shopping centre. Nice and modern, that is exactly what I love. And this, if I'm not mistaken, is the Friends Arena. I've got to take a look in the club shop, see what's in there, see if there's anything to buy. But let's have a look in the shop and see what they have. What a day for a game of football, by the way, in a foreign country. New stadium in Sweden, new country. Can I justify spending £93? Not really. I think I've already fallen in love with this club. The football kits, the store itself, what a club. Right, I'm gonna grab a scarf. I always collect scarves everywhere I go. To be a football fan of this club must be unbelievable. You've got the stadium here, you've got a shopping centre there, food beforehand, you can have beers, you can have pints, you can meet your friends, absolutely everything. And this store, by the way, that must be the best store I've ever been to at a football stadium as well. This is so modern and I can't wait to get inside there. And here we are for the first time in the Friends Arena. Oh my days, look at this. Would you think that this team is third bottom in the table? That is an absolute joke for the first time as well. Standing behind the goal, I'm not complaining, but I've got to stay a bit of a way because apparently the ultras do not like filming whatsoever, which I can understand, it's not for everyone. But nevertheless, any view 
around here is a good view. As you can see as well though, the top half of the stadium is actually all closed off. They can't sell out the stadium. This may be too big of a stadium, but nevertheless, they've got the fans behind the goal here, creating all the noise. And let's put it into perspective as well, they're not doing too great in the table either. Not only is this the AIK stadium, this is also the national stadium as well, where the Swedish national team play their games. This holds 50,000 fans, and it is pretty impressive. The players are about to come out, and everyone has got their scarves out behind the goal. I have a feeling we're going to watch a good one here with a good atmosphere. On the players. They're walking out to this beautiful anthem. That was a beautiful old anthem. Now it's time for the football. The black shirt with the yellow printed on the back looks unbelievable. But I still can't justify 93 pounds of the shirt. We've just kicked off and have already set up a pyro. Orange. A very interesting colour choice. I'll be honest with you, I was not expecting pyro or flares at all today. Not expecting it whatsoever. These fans are so passionate, so, so passionate. Every time they run down the wind, take a shot, the pass is absolutely everything. These fans are cheering. Could be a chance here. This guy's got pace, shoots. They may be third bottom of the table, but they're putting up a fight. There's a chance here. Shoots. Off the post. Look at the arms behind their head. So close to one and the third in the table. I'll tell you what, these ultras are nutty. They're crazy. <laughs> One new way, okay. Look what it means to the fans. This result would be huge. Finally to the home side. It goes straight to the box from the corner. And there he goes. He rifles it into the corner. One new way, okay. And these fans have erupted. <laughs> What a goal that was from the land. But look at the fans here, setting off pyros, players, the lot. My first taste of Swedish football. And it's been such a good game. And that is half time. 1-0 to AIK. So win to win, it could go either way this game. But AIK, I'm fighting for everything, and so are the fans. It's a great one. I think there's been a new signing reveal at half time. And look at this, it's just getting the fans going. You've got to rate it though, you wouldn't see this at any other club. <laughs> You can tell there's already a love of this club. I've just checked their Twitter feed and it was genuinely announced five minutes ago. And then there he is, walking on the pitch, greeting the fans and everything, Swedish football. <laughs> Since the second half has kicked off, it's all been happening. It feels like a goal's coming soon. Oh, well there it is. Well, that's a bit awkward. Very awkward. And these are your away fans in the corner. That is equalising this match. They've deserved it. The way they've started the second half. Go on in. Go on in. Ooh. I still can't get over how beautiful the stadium is, by the way. They've now got their scarves out, waving them about. This is why I bought my one. One thing you can't deny is how good these fans are. They are so passionate. Uh oh. Oh. Turned it around from 1 0 down to 2 1 out. Is it deserved? I don't know. But the ball's in the back of the net, and that's what matters in the day, the goals. This could be it. This could be 2 2. What a save. Oh. Ayari, go on. <laughs> How is that not going in? Some people just still can't believe I didn't go in. Ayari, 10. It's about to hit the 90th minute. I have visited the biggest football stadium in Scandinavia, and tomorrow I'll be witnessing Malmo and see what their fans' stadiums like. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye, guys. Hey, okay, you are special.